I can solve proportions using cross products. Here are three examples of proportions, which are equal ratios. So one to two is equal to two to four. Um, if we were to look at the numbers going diagonally, two times two is four. One times four is four. Hmm, is that a coincidence? Let's try another. 9 times 2 is 18. 6 times 3 is also 18. Hmm. 8 times 5 is 40. 4 times 10 is 40. So two ratios are equivalent and make a proportion if their cross products are the same. Okay, product means the answer when you multiply, and if you multiply going um, across diagonally, you'll get the same number. Okay, so we're going to use our knowledge of that to figure out if these three um, ratios are proportional. All right, so this one here, if we do uh, 3 times 8, we get 24, and if we do 2 times 12, we get 24. So yes, this is a proportion. These ratios are proportional. Let's try this one. 15 times 4. Hmm. Let's see. 15 is the same as 10 and 5 more. So I'm going to distribute. 4 times 10 is 40. 4 times 5 is 20. I'm going to add those two together because it says addition here, and that is 60. And then 3 times 20 is 20, 40, 60, also 60. So yes, this is a proportion. Let's try another 25 times 3. Ooh, 25 is what a quarter's worth if I have three quarters. 25, 50, 75. And then if I go this way, 23 times 5. Again, I'm going to distribute. So I'm going to do 5 times 20 plus 3. So 5 times 20 is 100. And 5 times 3 is 15 more. So 100 15. Ooh, this one is not a proportion. Yuck, yuck, yuck. All right, so we can also use our knowledge of proportions like this to solve for x. I'm going to stop this here and I'm going to make a second video so that I don't run out of time.